Human trafficking, often described as modern-day slavery, and it is happening, even in Augusta. Today, local law enforcement went through a training course on how to spot the signs. Ashley Osborne was there and joins us now live. Ashley, considering we're on the major corridor, I-20, between Atlanta and Columbia, experts say Augusta is a prime trafficking zone. In fact, one deputy who'd been through a similar training got up and shared his personal experience with human trafficking. He said that what started as a normal routine traffic stop ended up saving a little girl's life. He told the other officers in the room, he says, nothing compares, no big drug bust, breaking up a theft ring, nothing compares to saving a child from sex trafficking. The Augusta Rotary Club hosted today's training led by a GBI special agent. President Ed Presnell explains they applied for a grant specifically for this training after seeing a presentation on human trafficking. Our jaws dropped at the unbelievable <laughs> statistics and how cruel and inhumane the whole subject matter is. And so what we're doing is essentially training over 100 law enforcement officers from around the state that at least one life, if not many more, will be saved just because of where we are today. Elizabeth Soka founded a nonprofit called I'm Aware. They bring attention to the reality of the crime. She wants these officers to leave with practical skills to spot the signs and an emotional tie to the offense. This is about humans. You know, we're not talking about drugs. We're not talking about these, you know, firearm trafficking. We're not talking about those things. We're talking about people that are being sold over and over and over again and really putting an emphasis on that and making sure that um, you know, we're doing our part to keep our community safe. Richmond County Special Ops Commander Lieutenant Robbie Silas says his team has seen it. We have found it before, and the more education that we can give to our guys to, uh, to get out and enforce things in the street makes it a whole lot better. And that's why he was here today with a table full of deputies for the training. Is there any way the general public can help? Are there things they can look for? Are there ways they can help you all do your There, there sure are. Uh, just, just being alert, uh, you know, to their surroundings when they're at businesses, uh, they're at hotels and stuff like that. When, when you see things, Call. We've got to take our streets back. We've got to we've got to protect these children and young women that are being exploited and uh, and and get them help. He says oftentimes people are afraid to call because they don't want their name out there. But he says don't worry about that because you'll stay anonymous. And he says better call, have them check it out, and have it be nothing, than have it be something serious and you don't call. Live in Augusta, Ashley Osborne, WJBF News Channel Six.